Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a revolting review. I am Random Ross and today I review Godzilla Kong, the new empire. <laughs> So this is directed by Adam Wingard, starring Rebecca Hall, Brian Tyree Henry, Dan Stevens, Kaylee Hottie, uh, Alex Ferns and Fala Chen. So this is the fifth installment in Legendary's Monsterverse where uh, you know, it's a couple years after Godzilla vs Kong where Kong's living peacefully in Hollow Earth whilst Godzilla is you know, pretty much, you know, fighting giant monsters whenever they cause bother. And of course, the signal is picked up from Hollow Earth, where they go, where Monarch go down to investigate, and of course, discovers that there is an ancient giant ape civilization ruled by an evil giant ape called King Scar, or Scar King, who uh, wants to take over the earth and everything and Godzilla and Kong with a little help from their friends uh, you know Mothra Suku and the big ice creature I can't remember its name now you know they all band together with the help of Monarch to take down this evil threat and you know restore balance to the earth and of course for the two monsters to then go their separate ways so that's probably the essential story there so what did I like about this well, I like that this was not the end of the MonsterVerse. I thought, you know, because after Godzilla Kong, Godzilla vs. Kong, they had no uh, plans for any further installments, but I thought, yeah, they'll, they'll make more. You know, they, they got to, and, and they did. They made this one. Uh, so, first of all, I thought this had some great visuals, you know, all around the visuals. We're all good, drowned in CGI, of course. We had some, um, you know, fun moments in there, some action moments. I feel in this one, though, Godzilla did take more of a backseat in this one. And, you know, Kong was also a bit of a primary focus as well. And also, we, uh, you know, I feel that we got back into the human drama again of these movies, which sometimes they can work or can't work. But the human drama in it, I didn't mind it. I thought, okay, so there's another tribe of people in Hollow Earth. Spoiler warning there. Um, also, I like that we got the return of Mothra, or a new version of Mothra uh, in this one, the queen of the monsters to tap into Godzilla's soft side. Um, also, I liked the, you know, the new friend Kong made, little Suko like a little giant orangutan from what I could gather I mean at first they, they, they're a bit like they don't have a, a good friendship but over time their friendship grows and they you know become good friends and he sort of becomes maybe a surrogate father to Suko. I also thought the villain um, you know Scar King was quite intimidating, a big meanie, but other than that, your usual villain that wants to conquer and everything, but the good guys aren't going to let him go and do that. Um, but I thought this had some, like I say, good visual effects. I thought we had some good performances from our human actors in it. Uh, but I do feel that this was your usual run-of-the-mill giant CGI monster action flick slash toy commercial because you know they do sell toys as well for this franchise but yeah I thought the middle acts and that bits of it kind of felt like a snooze fest but I gotta be honest I mean I managed to keep awake and you know I mean, I did lose my focus at one point where I scrolled on my phone. But, you know, once the main action got going again, I then paid attention to it, especially the way they demise of, you know, Scar King, just by freezing him and smashing him and stuff. Um, but yeah, 
is this the best one in the series? Probably not, but we're only five films in and I feel that they're taking their time with these movies and not like pushing one out every single year. And it's nearly ten years since this universe started with Godzilla. Yeah, ten years down the line. Godzilla, he was all pink this time. People say that's the result of Barbenheimer. But, uh, yeah. Um, Godzilla Kong, what am I going to rate it? I think I will give this... Um, I'll give it three stubs out of five. Three stubs out of five for Godzilla Kong, The New Empire. So there you go, there is my review for that one. Have you seen it? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share with your friends. Share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. I have been Random Russ and this has been a revolting review on Godzilla Kong The New Empire. So until next time, good have nightmares.